Hello, this is Rick. Welcome back to my channel. Rick loves Maria. Well, um, something happened, and it's my worst fear come true. I've lost my job. Yep, you heard me. It's not good. So, um,. I don't know what to say. I, I think we just had a personality conflict. Um, she had a whole list of of little picky excuses. You know, the date was wrong on this or that, whatever. I don't know. Stuff from back from six months ago. And I tried. I gave it my best shot. I really tried hard at this job and put in a lot of weekends and, and effort. Um, you know, at one point I was asked to make the numbers look good and I can't do that. So I, I don't know. I, I feel like maybe it was a little bit of retaliation or something for not going with the program, but I don't know. I mean, I think, uh, you're looking, she's, she's kind of looking for a perfectionist and I'm human, you know? I make mistakes. I'm I'm human. I don't. I mean, I, I try not to make too many, <laughs> but you know, when you're dealing with very complex SQL queries and large amounts of data, and bringing that in over and doing calculations and sorting, filtering, doing a lot of things with it. Uh, there's a possibility for things to go wrong and uh, you know I had a, a few so anyway um, but it was a lot of stress you know for a long time there it was a lot of stress and I would just thank God every day that I made it through another day so anyway I'm doing some job hunting see what else I can find out here um, I've already got a few applications in. I've actually been looking for a, a little while. Um, I had a phone interview from a place in Florida. I really don't want to have to move, but I could relocate if I had to. I drove part-time delivering pizza for about a month, and now I'm driving FedEx, delivering packages for FedEx um, on the weekends. So that might turn into full time. I actually enjoy doing that, delivering packages for FedEx. It's kind of fun. You feel like you're uh, giving people a little a mini Christmas every time you give them a package. Most of the time, you don't see actually see people. You just you just mark you know scan it and <clears throat> mark it as delivered and drop it off at their at their door or wherever they want it dropped off. And so you just get back in the truck and navigate to the next stop. And that, I'm enjoying that. It gets me out of the office. I get to travel around a little and see uh, a little bit of roads. It's not it's not putting wear and tear on my vehicle. Um, so I'm I'm kind of enjoying that. Um, it could have better benefits, but you know for now it's uh, it's not bad. Um, so anyway. Um, you know that it is what it is I've applied for several different things driving the Brinks truck I've applied for doing quality control at a pharmaceutical manufacturing place um, I've applied for, you know of course for a few other IT jobs one of them is a epic analyst epic is a electronic medical record system similar to what I'm used to dealing with um, so um, I'll, I'll, you know, have to dip a little bit into the, the, the 401k, uh, but I already communicated with a couple of places here in um, working to work out some finances. To be, so I think I'm pretty sure I'll be okay. I don't know how long I could be unemployed. Probably not too long. I hope within a month I'm back to full-time work somewhere. doesn't really matter where. Uh, hopefully without too much of a commute, but I don't know. Um, so I have mixed feelings about it. 
Um, you know, I don't want to say bad things about somebody, you know, but um, the person that was in my position previously didn't get along with her. Um, one of the, my co-workers that was there, he left because of some things he didn't like that he saw. He, he found somewhere else to go. And so anyway, um, maybe this will be a blessing, a blessing in disguise, I hope. Because um, I really didn't feel appreciated there, like, like they said, that they, they claim they appreciate you. And the boss, the boss lady, the head, the head lady, she was awesome, wonderful person. But uh, my, my supervisor, I don't know, we just didn't, uh, we just seemed to have a personality conflict, I think. Um, so there was some issues like a, um, a, an email that, that got ignored. But, you know, if a vendor wants payment, I think they should send an invoice and not an email. So anyway, uh, that's what's going on. Um, I'm staying positive, staying happy. Uh, I'll get through this. I'm, I've never been afraid of hard work in my life, and I'm not afraid to do anything. I don't care if I'm out here sweating in the heat. I'll do whatever it takes to get the job done. So, um, you know, I'm actually kind of looking forward to a change. I've been doing this kind of stuff with this particular software Oh, seven, eight, nine, ten years. So, you know, I'm 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 ready to learn some new things and try something different. Um, I just hope it doesn't mess with with the um, fiance visa application that we have going on. They say it won't. They say it shouldn't have any bearing on the, in any of that. So, um, you know, we'll see. Um, we're still stuck waiting for the embassy to, to open and schedule the interview. I'm going to go ahead and send her the money, and she's going to uh, pay, the, pay the fee for the visa. So we'll go ahead and get that done as soon as possible. I, frankly, I'm tired of waiting. It's been too long. It's been six months too, uh, too long at this point. Six months overdue. So that's kind of where we're at. I was watching some other YouTube channels and saw some really good information. One guy was talking about the money. When you take like $100 bills over there to exchange, they can't have any small tears, folds, even if a corner's just earmarked, uh, uh, bent over. They don't want to exchange them for you. It, it happened to me. I ended up bringing back a couple hundred Benjamins. And as soon as I get back here to the airport, I had no trouble spending it for a sandwich, you know, and, and breaking it once I landed in Atlanta. So it's kind of weird how they are like that about the exchanging the, the currency. Uh, and he's right. They do give you some pretty ragged-looking uh, Filipino pesos over there. Um, I understand they do have some new Filipino pesos that are coins now, so I haven't seen those, but... Uh, that's all they need to do is weigh down people's pockets more because everywhere we went over there, we had a, a, in the car, the dash in the car was full of coins and pesos. And now if they're coming out with more coinage for pesos, that's just going to weigh people down even more. It's just crazy. Um, so anyway, uh, um, I don't think, I don't think as a, tourists that it'd be easy to get back in the Philippines at this time with the virus going on. So I'm not planning the trip to go back there. We're still trying to plan to get her here. My latest check on the airlines, this since it's it's right now September. The uh, uh, Korean Air prices have gone crazy sky high back up to 2400 bucks per ticket which is useless. Uh, there's a DOH airline, that a Turkish Airlines, that flies to Istanbul, and they are right at $700 a ticket right now. So if she does get clear to come 
we may have to fly Turkish Airlines and come through Istanbul to get her here. So anyway, that's the latest. That's what's going on. Um, like, subscribe, stay tuned, and hopefully I'll have some more positive news for you soon. Okay, thanks.